Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to take a look if you are in no contact, it's silent and no communication between you and your person. We're gonna take a look and see what is going on. We are gonna look at Aries through Pisces. The timestamps will be listed down below so you can check out your sun, moon, or rising placement. Keep in mind it is a general collective reading. So if you'd like your own personal reading, my email address and my website are listed down below. So let's go ahead and get started with Aries first. First thing I wanna take a look at is what is the overall energy between Aries and their person that they're in no contact with? Okay, so we have intuition. Possibilities, wake up call. And single okay so Aries it looks like your person was using their intuition when they decided to go silent from this connection there was some type of wake-up call that they had received when it came to what they needed to do their intuition was guiding them that there was a lot of possibilities out there and that they maybe needed to remain single that maybe they were not truly genuinely happy in this connection and there might have been something so much more Let's see how they see you, okay? They do see you as somebody that they are physically attracted to. It might have been an impulsive thing, the way the two of you came about. How they feel about you is they do feel like you are a challenge. You are somebody that is worth competing for because you could be very attractive. You're also somebody who is of leadership and they do like that. They do feel that you are very challenging. As far as their intentions, this is somebody who their ego is kind of blocking them from really taking any action towards you. They want to be recognized for the potential or the possibility of being with you, but they don't actually want a relationship or a connection. Yeah, it does look like their actions is they are going to be very persistent on staying single and staying silent during the separation. Taurus. Two twenty-four. Okay, Taurus, let's see what is the energy between you and your person that you're in no contact with. What is the energy between Taurus and their person? Unhealed wounds. Confused. frustrated and cut out okay so Taurus your person could have unhealed wounds that they have not resolved or they could feel that you do it created a lot of confusion and it frustrated this person so this person felt like they needed to be in separation they needed to cut off communication maybe to work on things that would help heal the wounds that they were having how they see you as somebody that maybe procrastinates, maybe you say a lot of things, but things always fall through and maybe that is what was frustrating this person and it left them feeling like confused all the time because you were not maybe following through with stuff. How they feel about you is they feel that you are somebody who maybe created a lot of blockages and you really were indecisive about what you wanted from them also. Their intentions, they are somebody who is trying to feel determined with cutting out this connection and really focusing on their own independence. As far as actions, it does look like they are not trying to create any actions or come towards you at this point. It feels like there is a lot of exhausting energy from your person because they were so frustrated and stressed out that they are really just procrastinating on doing anything to heal the connection. Gemini. Four seventeen. Okay, Gemini, let's see what is the overall energy in your no-contact situation with your person. We have rushing in, social media, financial problems, and don't give up. Okay, so your person could be wanting to rush in at some point because they are having financial problems. They could be seeing things that you are posting on social media 
and they don't want to give up on the connection, but they are very curious to see what you are up to. They could be a little bit obsessive about that energy. How they see you, they see you as somebody that also has a lot of things that you need to work on. They could feel that at times you're maybe a little bit codependent on them. As far as how they feel about you, they are a little bit moody um, when it comes to their feelings and emotions. This is something that they obsessively think about that of giving you the cold shoulder, but they're still not trying to give up. So even though they're in no contact with you, they are still watching your social media. Their intentions at some point is to open up to you, to be able to express some type of feelings and emotions about the situation, but their actions is they're not really wanting to create some type of opportunity. They know that this might be a missed opportunity or a missed chance to do this, but they're not ready because they do have other things that they are focusing on. Cancer. Five fifty-five. Okay, Cancer, what is the overall energy between you and your person in no contact? We have guarded heart. Intense. Patience. And relocating okay so cancer your person is very guarded right now maybe they felt like things got too intense too quickly and they need some time they need some patience to relocate how their heart is feeling to really understand if they can fully open up that heart to find true happiness this is something that because it was so intense they maybe needed to pump the brakes and really relocate their thoughts and their process. Not physical relocation is what I feel with this. I feel like it's more of they need to relocate how they're feeling about you, moving from maybe a friend zone into a romantic zone. This is somebody who does see you that um, they have a lot of anxiety when they think about their heart. This is, was a very traumatic experience because it was so intense, but they got spooked and their heart is very guarded and they're feeling overwhelmed and worried now because of that decision they made of going no contact. This is somebody who feels that you have a lot of things that are unfinished from your past that you're resisting to change that is creating them continuing to keep their heart guarded because you're not fully open and transparent about things that kept you stuck emotionally in the past. As far as their intentions, this is somebody who they're a little bit indecisive and they are resisting the, the control of the situation because of their guarded heart, they're trying to relocate in their thoughts and in their heart what they should do with these feelings and emotions. Do they keep you in no contact or do they try to communicate with you? So that is something this person is trying to figure out. How do they relocate these feelings and emotions? Their actions is, yeah, they're definitely balancing and juggling with what the decision should be. Underneath it all, they do want some type of contribution of long-term success or stability, but they're being patient with making this decision and not jumping to the decision too quickly. Leo. 832. Okay, Leo, the person you're in no contact with, what is the overall energy? Leo and your person. Blessing in disguise. Letting go. Chemistry. Left unsaid. Okay, so Leo, your person felt the intense chemistry in this connection. They feel maybe energetically that you're letting it go. And they felt like this was a blessing in disguise. But there are things that have been left unsaid between the two of you. That maybe your person has things that they still want to say. Even though there is silence and no communication right now. How your person sees you is somebody who is maybe very quick to make decisions. That you change up really fast and you're very ambitious and driven with whatever it is that you're doing. 
as far as how they feel about you, they do feel that you have taken a rest. You have completely retreated and maybe you're not wanting to have a new start with this person, but you are being silent just as much as this person is being silent. Their intentions is they are conflicted. They're feeling a little bit like discouraged because you have not reached out to them either. As far as their next actions, it does look like this person is being more indecisive. They are going to hold themselves back because of other bad choices they've made in the past. They feel like maybe this is a risk if they were to try to come back and say these things that are left unsaid. It does look like this person does have a lot of aggression towards you, Leo, right now because of the silence. But there are obstacles and challenges outside of that that they are still working through in their personal life. Virgo. Ten forty two. Okay, Virgo, what is the overall energy between you and your person in no contact? Virgo. Chasing you. Anxiety. Promises and trust issues, okay, Virgo? So your person maybe felt like they were chasing you a lot, that you made a lot of promises to them that you didn't follow through with, and it created some trust issues and instability and anxiety for your person. And that could be why they went silent. They felt inspired to take their energy back because they were hurt and disappointed that they were constantly chasing you and coming up with empty promises from you. How they see you is somebody who maybe is releasing them, somebody who's being irresponsible and maybe is being a little bit careless when it comes to the connection or the promises that you had once promised. How they feel is they feel that you are somebody who's indecisive, that you are full of a lot of empty promises and you're not following through with what you said you were. There's a lack of action on your part. As far as their intentions, this is somebody who does have emotions for you, but they feel the need to take action and stay silent and not try to return. They are going to work on themselves and really try to heal themselves and understand the clarity and truth of what happened and how there was so much conflict and misunderstanding and try to keep moving forward past it. Libra. 25. Okay, Libra, your no contact situation. What is the overall energy for your person for Libra? Karmic payout. Resentment. Indecisive. And yearning. Okay, so your person's in this energy right now, Libra, of this karmic payout, which is all about maybe good things have been happening for them since they've disconnected from the situation. This is somebody who was holding on to a lot of resentment because of an indecisiveness that either they had or you had when it came to this connection. They are yearning for something when it comes to you and maybe the passion and chemistry in this connection. How they see you is somebody who's very disciplined and very focused. You're also very established with what you want, but you want to be in control of steering the ship that this person maybe felt resentful that you always had the final say on things and they did not. How they feel is they feel conflicted. They feel like there was a lack of the two of you really being on the same page and there was a major misalignment in this connection. Their intentions is they're trying to be practical and they're trying to really protect themselves right now because this resentment they do have, but yet on one hand, they're resentful. On the other hand, they're very much yearning to be close to you. So they're trying to be practical and just focus on what they can provide to themselves at this point. Their action is, yeah, they're definitely focusing on their own investment and they're really working on their long-term planning of how to nurture and take care of themselves. This is somebody who is spending some time contemplating what happened and why they needed to withdraw. And because they have, they are getting this karmic payout, which is something that is positive for them during this time period. Scorpio.
$14.49. Okay, Scorpio, what is the energy between you and your person in no contact? Scorpio, watching you. Intuition. Missing you and reap what you sow. Okay, Scorpio, so your person is watching you. So if you have been feeling intuitively, this person's watching your social media, everything you post, they are. They do miss you. They feel like right now they are reaping what they sow. So they could be really feeling like they're down in the dumps if you have been living your best life and still posting on social media. Um, everything that you've been doing, this person is missing you even more. There, there's a, almost a sense of jealousy that they're feeling. How they see you as somebody who's not communicating to them, that you have completely stopped all communication and that is panicking this person a little bit. How they feel about you is they feel like it's a total loss, that they want to be able to improve the situation and they want things to get better, but all they can do right now is watch you. Yeah, their intentions is they are just waiting. They're a little bit defensive about how much they miss you. And that's why they are constantly watching you. Because they feel like by watching you, they're still a part of your life. And they're still trying to tap into you energetically. So if you're still feeling the presence of this person, that is why. Because this person is stalking your social media. As far as their intentions, they're trying to plan and develop a plan for the future. They're trying to figure out how they could create some type of opportunity. They may like one of your posts or try to respond to one of your posts, but they're going to mess up because they are actually doing it under a secret account and you're going to actually intuitively know that it's actually them who posted it by whatever their response is. Yeah, this is somebody who secretly does want reconciliation. They're trying to be patient and sensible about it, but... The, you know intuitively that this person is watching you and trying to reconnect with you again. Sagittarius. Seventeen twenty. Okay, Sagittarius. No contact. What is the overall energy between you and your person? Kiss. Toxic relationship. Play hard. Refuse to let you go and apology. Okay, so your person wants to apologize for something, Sagittarius. Maybe they played hardball in the past or they played um, hard to get in the past and they want to apologize for that. They are not letting you go. But there was some toxicity in this connection. Maybe there were some lies and some deceit that they didn't tell you about. This is somebody who wants to kiss you. They want to be close to you. They're obsessively thinking about how they want to just feel your lips again. This is somebody who sees you as someone who's a little bit toxic at times. That maybe you have a destructive behavior at times when it comes to this connection. How they feel about you is they feel like you are still soulmates, that they feel that they're still in love with you and you're the divine love that they've always wanted. And they still choose you, even with the toxic situation between the two of you, this person still has a very deep-rooted passion for you and the love the two of you shared. As far as their intentions, this is somebody who is holding back a little bit because they know that they need to go through some type of transformation themselves that can help release some of that toxicity that the two of you had maybe in the past. As far as their actions, you could be dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn. We do have Gemini and Scorpio here. So Sagittarius, your person is working on what they know that they need to work on, which is the compassion when it comes to this toxicity. They are really having the willpower and strength to try to overcome it because they do want to create some type of stability in the future with you. This is somebody who maybe needs to apologize and let things go from the past in order for the two of you to reunite one day. Capricorn. Nineteen forty. Okay, Capricorn. 
The person you're in no contact with. What is the overall energy? Regret. Possibilities. Friendship. And fate. Okay, so Capricorn, your person's having some regrets. Maybe you started out as friends or you kept them in the friend zone. They felt like there was a lot of possibilities because they thought this was a faded connection. But maybe they ended up with hurt and disappointment because you kept them in the friend zone. That this friendship never evolved into something. And they regret that. Maybe they wanted more. Maybe they felt the possibilities were so much more in this connection. How they see you as somebody who maybe fears change. That you weren't wanting to put this person outside of the friend zone to come into union. As far as how they feel about you, they feel that maybe you created your own obstacles and you wanted to have some sense of control or direction when it came to the connection, but yet you didn't want to change anything. You didn't want to step up and do something which came across very arrogant to this person. This person has the regret because they felt like there was something more faded when it came to this connection. Their intentions is this person is not really being honest with themselves about the confusion or the clouded judgment that happened between the two of you. And this is somebody, as far as their actions, they are planning on progressing, trying to work on themselves. Maybe they're investing in their work or their career. Maybe they're going back to school. There is this long-term vision that this person is trying to create more opportunities and stability for themselves. Aquarius. Twenty-one thirty-four. Okay, Aquarius, your no contact situation. What's the overall energy? Awakening. Wanting to reconcile. Break up. Unfinished business. Okay, Aquarius, so your person's having this sudden awakening when it comes to this connection about the breakup and the way things played out. This is somebody who is thinking about reconciliation. They want to reconcile because they feel like things are not over. They've done some soul searching and they recognize what their feelings and emotions are. They're recognizing the breakup and why it happened. How they see you as somebody who is very nurturing, somebody who's also very protective. If you are a parent, they see you as somebody who really is a good parent. How they feel about you is they feel that you are very diligent and that you're very focused maybe on the things that you're passionate about and not this connection. You could be somebody who's developing a new skill or you're trying to master something and this person really recognizes that you do value that and that's something you're very consistent with. As far as their intentions, this is somebody who is feeling like they're not happy and that this connection maybe was a complete failure, but they didn't finish what they wanted to and they still want to reconcile. As far as their actions, they do want to try to come towards you. This is somebody who may do something in the public to get your attention, some type of you know, gesture of faith to let you know that they want you back. They do want to reconcile. We do have that Knight of Wands. So they are coming in very inspired to take action towards you. And it might be something that's very impulsive. So they could post like something online or they could, you know, send you flowers at work, something that you're not expecting. It's going to be kind of shocking, but they're going to do something that's really bold and out of character, out of the norm for them to get your attention. Pisces, 2350. Okay, Pisces, your no contact situation. What is the overall energy for your person? Leap of faith, text message. Unavailable. cycles okay so this could be a repeated cycle that this person does this to you Pisces they maybe know that they mess up every time they do this they take a leap of faith to come towards you try to work everything out and then something freaks them out they get in some type of cycle and they ghost you and they're not available they want to text you they maybe start the text message but they don't ever hit send 
and they go silent for a while. And then when they come back, they come back with a leap of faith, but they're not fully honest about why they go quiet on you. Why do they go silent? And why do they completely not communicate with you with what's going on, leaving you confused because this person's not available to be reached? How they see you as somebody who creates a lot of traumatic experiences for them with these cycles. Something is triggering within this connection that makes this person feel overwhelmed. And it puts them in this fear of flight energy, like where they just have to run away. And they kind of get in like this depressive state. And this is a vicious cycle that this person has been going through. As far as how they feel about you, they feel that maybe you don't want long-term goals with them. That maybe you create blockages or you create delays when it comes to figuring out how to fix these vicious cycles. Especially if it's a triggering thing that you say or do that triggers this person. As far as their intentions, they are feeling like there is a lack of the two of you being on the same page. They want to send you a message at the times when they're not available, when they're not talking to you but they feel like it's just gonna create more problems. It's gonna dig that insecurity that they already have from the connection even further down. As far as their next actions, it does look like this person does have a fear of letting you go, but they also are in this energy of resisting the change. They know that they don't have control over these cycles. This could be mental health that this person's dealing with, but there's an indecision and they're fearing of actually letting you go. So that's why they go silent they take a break from the connection when they get triggered and they ghost you or block you or whatever they do. There's no communication and then they recover and then they come back with this leap of faith and they send you a message and they try to become available again. But it's a very unstable and poor communication between the two of you. And this is a vicious cycle that keeps happening between you and your person because something is triggering your person. But as far as their actions, they're going to continue to be in this victim mentality because they haven't really worked through why these cycles are happening for themselves.